Geek Tonight, what's poppin'? It's Adonis. We are back for another Fire Force Week action. Today we start with episode 16. Let's go. So if you want to stay geeked, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next one. Thank you guys so much for all the support this week, man. We're headed to 300K. That is the goal for this year. So if you guys hadn't had a chance to subscribe or hit that like button, those things help so much in the growth on the channel. And also using that hashtag intro saying, let me know what you want me to say at the beginning of the video like this next time on Absolutely Geeked. But today we're kicking off episode 16 of Fire Force. Um, trying to remember where I was at the last time. I remember his brother got, we saw his brother for the first time. Found that he has an Adola burst as well. So I'm like, ooh, okay, this is interesting. This is super tight. Now I'm just thinking of like, was he the reason why his family died? Like there's there's so many things that are going through my head right now. And then also the the idea of them you know, trying to bring the other over to whatever side, you know, his younger brother's gonna be like, yo, come over here. And then he's gonna be like, no, how about you come over here? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is gonna be interesting. So I'm excited to see what's going on with this. We're about to find out what's going on. What's going on? Hmm. I <laughs> do got a drum set set, okay. Oh, bruh, chill. That should look bomb right now, bro. Ooh, it looks so good. We are family. Proud family. What? <laughs> List the credits. Yeah. There's some fuckery going on. That's what's up. Bruh. That dude is dumb, dumb, bro. <laughs> Bruh. Timeouts, my guy's working for them, bro. <laughs> Yo, chill. Mm, psych. Oh, he's saucy. Bruh, he said these are two million volts. What kind of monster are you? I don't feel very nightly right now, so I can't get going. Bruh, you, what you need? <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I can tell for a but you really are dumb. <laughs> Is this motherfucker on a stick pony right now, bro? A stick donkey, cuz? <laughs> bro, this dude is so stupid. Oh, that's tight. So he has heat so he can create a mirage. That's essentially what he did. It's tight. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, instead of having this fucking donkey on his fucking on his dick right now, but he actually the sword looks tight, even though it's like he just put it together. It looks pretty fire. Mm. Mm, he's gonna lose that inspiration. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Bruh. Yup. <laughs> what you about to do, bruh? So here's my thing: Is he does he have any fire capabilities, bro? Besides being, uh, you know, an inventor, is it, was we could be wow? Would he be an inventor? Oh shit, for real? Damn, bro, that's fire. <laughs> oh. She's what the hell are you doing? What? Oh no, bro. Wow. You got the okie doke like that? She was like, we've been playing house all this time, bro. Yo, he is, this dude is serious, bro. Giovanni is not playing, bro. He is savage. Whoa, bro. He just shot him like, 
I'm not even blinking, bro. Oh, chill. Yo, bro, he's bugging. I wonder if she's going to stop him. That shit, bro. That shit was deep, bro. He was talking about how it's, you know, we're gonna be, you know, our family's not gonna be able to break, blah, blah. And then old girl has been a fake this whole time, bro. Whoa. That's trash. Lisa, what girl? All them bitties. And you's a Benite this whole time. Hmm. Oh, chill. <laughs> oh, my God. Animation's on hit right now, bro. God, oh no, your head got headed, bro. Yep, look at that. Yo, all your gonzo action is gone. Get a get get a get get a get. Oh, you got kicked in the face. <laughs> Talking all that shit. Mmm, that's tight. Ooh, chill. He getting a one-two punch. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chill. It didn't knock her out just now, did it? Oh. Oh no, nigga. Yo, <laughs> shit. Oh, chill. Yo, he was down there the whole time looking at this nigga like, bro, you are, you are trash. You are, you're trash, bro. Oh my God, bro. Oh, 
回収して、残りの連中を処分してくれ。例のものは。おい、シェア。Oh, he's tight. He's tight, bro. Woo! Oh, they're tight. Oh, chill. Too saucy right there, bro. Oh shit. I didn't know I didn't know Joker was gonna be that tight. Lisa's conflicted right now. She's on that vibe of like she's been undercover for too long where she actually fucks with the person she's supposed to be taken out. Unfortunately, not as deep as I imagined. <laughs> I really thought he was going to die. Serving under, he probably, he's the, he's the head motherfucker, right? Or maybe he's not. He, got, he had to get trained by somebody. Yeah. All right. Last one, bro. 18. This is crazy, bro. That last episode, the beginning was wild. I, got, I can't lie. The beginning of the last episode was crazy. How did you end up in her shit? <laughs> This dude, bro. Facts. Yeah, but they don't understand. They don't understand what show is capable of, bro. That motherfucker has some Sephiroth flower shit going on. Sephiroth fucking feather shit going on, bro. He's not. That motherfucker's crazy. Mm. Hold on, what? But you catching up to Commander Show will depend on him. 
Why is he calling him Commander Shows? He's got to be a part of the evangelist, right? Period. Mm. Mm, that's tight. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's tight, bro. So he's like, like, you need to learn how to focus your flames, your control. He knows exactly what the fuck's going on. I was like, oh, okay, and I just focus that bitch. Got it. That's fire. Yo, what? Bro, this is tight, bro. So she has weapons that she can just run around with? Are you serious? That's tight. <laughs> bro, if you got bro, be quiet about it, bro. Shut the hell up, bro. That was so fire. <laughs> mm. Okay, he moving. Move, bruh. Ooh. Mm. Look at that. He could sense him, bro. Okay. These episodes were cool. They weren't outstanding. They were cool. But the animation is in the, on the show is incredible. So I love it. Um, the things that I liked quite a bit, him and his relationship with his brother is going to be uh, super dope because his brother obviously thinks he's trash. Uh, doesn't really know that he's his brother, I'm assuming, because his brother was a toddler at the time. So he doesn't really know who his older brother is. Um so that's the first thing that I'm excited about. But he can sense that, oh, okay, I'm related to this guy. So I like that. Uh, I want to know who trained him because it's like, all right, like you obviously didn't just wake up and next thing you know, you're the head dude. So somebody's training you and whoever's training you is probably super saucy as well. So that's the other thing that I'm like really trying to figure out how you got to the level that you're at. Um, the captain of uh, squad three, 
his whole thing, I'm like, okay, what's going on with you? I mean, he, he already looked suspect to me just from the first time I saw him. I was like, yo, you got this Dr. Robotnik sneaky look on your face. You know what I'm saying? You look like a snitch. So I'm like, all right, something's going on with this guy for sure. So, um, you know, what's the key for the Amaterasu for? Like, what does it do? What is it supposed to unlock? Why is there a key for it in the first place? These are questions that I have because it almost has like that whole like, these are the plans of the Death Star that, you know, show the the weaknesses of the Death Star. It's like, why would somebody create this fail safe or this key for this Amaterasu to do whatever with it? Like, what is it enabling? Uh, so that's a question that I have in my head as well. Um, but yeah, this was really tight. Show as a character is, 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 I just like his demeanor. I like his demeanor as a character. We know really nothing about him yet, but because of his demeanor, it makes him mysterious. It makes him to me more, more interesting to want to know more about. Um, uh, what's his name? I uh, keep forgetting the guy's name that they went after to actually get on their squad. The, the engineer, He's building some really dope stuff. And it's crazy because he was saying that uh, the Squad 3 captain had cut off his supplies. So I want to know what he was making before his supplies got cut off. Because we started to see what he's making for Squad 8. And I'm like, bro, you're making some crazy stuff for Squad 8. And you've only been there for a few days. And you're making some soft stuff already. Like the gun thing for her little her little fireball joints. Those are, that's crazy to me. I'm like, oh, damn. It looks like something from like Zone of the Enders or something like that. So it's really, really dope. I really think that's fire. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited to see where the story is going. What's the main focus? Joker. What is his role in this? Obviously with this other guy on Squad 8, their scientist dude. Like, I think he's working with the evangelists as well. Like, there are some things that I'm just like, okay, what's going on? Because it seems like he wants him to get stronger for the evangelists because the evangelists want to use the Adola burst for something. But he need, they, I, I, something is going on. They need him, they need, they need Shannon to get stronger. That's what, at least what it seems like. Now, I could be completely wrong and maybe this guy isn't part of the evangelist, but that's what it seems because he said commander show. Why would he say commander show if he's not his commander? You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, but... On the other side, Joker, you know, he came off originally as this bad guy, but is he a bad guy is the question. What is he actually? What's going on with him? So I don't know, man. There's a lot of things that's going through my head right now. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on this in the comments down below. Am I on the right track? Also, let me know who your favorite character is in the show in the comments. Um, I'm very excited to see what your guys' thoughts are on your favorite character in this show thus far. Um yeah, man, it's super fire. Don't forget to leave that hashtag intro saying in the comments. And if you're lucky, I'll pick yours to say at the beginning of the next episode. Also, if you guys want to catch this unedited link in the description box for the Patreon, I'm going to be adding some new things to Patreon this week that will be exclusive to Patreon just because I, I'm i terrified of copyright uh, for these shows. But things like Mandalorian, things like The Boys, um, uh, maybe... Um, season three of Stranger Things, like things like that I may be doing exclusively over on Patreon. So if you guys want to catch that, um, I'll have a link for Patreon uh, as well in the description. Um, and yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button, support your boy. Uh, we're headed for 300K this year. So anything you guys can do, like, comment, subscribe, all those things help the channel and push it in search. And I appreciate you guys so much. Your support this week has been incredible. And we're just, we're building guys. We're building again, we're building hardcore. And I know I had to start from wherever square one is right now, just because last year I was kind of just coasting on the channel primarily because of things i was doing outside of youtube but this year we're, we're hitting hard we're hitting super hard so um but yeah guys thank you guys so much smash that like button show you boys some love and if you want to catch out my latest videos links will be right here to the side all right guys till next time stay geek